Hi, I'm Kendall with the Rawls Group. The old African proverb, it takes a village, illustrates the essential nature of a team approach to succession planning. Succession planning is a complex endeavor. As such, it requires leveraging the expertise of a diversity of backgrounds. Collaboration and different expert opinions provides a 360 degree approach, ensuring the possible, probable, and potential issues impacting your long-term vision are addressed. To provide insight into common questions received from business owners, we are leveraging the village of our valued strategic relationships. As you listen to this episode, you'll be able to immediately apply the key takeaways and you'll come back for more. Now we're going to focus on how do you get your corporate culture to recalibrate if behaviors of consumers change long-term on the other side of the COVID-19 crisis? So, so first, I don't know if any of us really know to what extent uh, consumer behaviors will change. Um, if they do change, we also don't know how much. And so uh, as a company, we have to make sure our executive team, our management team recalibrates to really account for all the ways that may change down the road. That involves more long-term strategic planning that accounts for the uncertain future in our, our consumer's behavior. It's kind of like a fork in the road and we don't know if the new new down the road goes back to the old new, if it goes to the new from the pandemic or even some other potential uh, road of uh, different consumer behavior. And so we need to be ready to pivot um, as these things develop down the road and to, to be ready that requires more current I think long-term strategic planning, trying to figure out what those different paths look like and how we pivot from one to the other based upon how consumer behavior unfolds as we go forward. And this change may take a year, it may take a couple years, it may be slow. And so I think any business owner, any executive and management team, you know, they're focused on the current. I think certainly we need to focus more on, on the long-term. You know, as you think about it, for example, I am sure that the path we take as a business to provide our products and our services to our consumers is probably going to change how much we don't know. Uh, if I'm an auto dealership and I'm used to having people come into the lot, look at cars, sit down in the room, negotiate, uh, you can see that whole process changing. You can see more of it going online, you can see smaller lot sizes for cars, you can see cars more being warehoused somewhere else in a distribution center, not at the manufacturer, but also not on the lot. Um, you, you can certainly see different ways consumers might change their behavior and how they buy a car. That's gonna happen with every industry. We don't know where it's gonna end up, but certainly I recommend a lot more long-term strategic planning to look at those possibility of, of outcomes and, and be ready to pivot uh, as it all unfolds. So to start this off, there are, there is a quote by John Maxwell that states, you are as good as your leader. Um, in turn, what that means to me is that before you expect change and miracles from your team, uh, your mind must also change. Uh, your greatest ideas may possibly be invalid during these changing times. Uh, we need to accept that we must grow at the same level that you expect your team to perform and lead. Um, and, and you yourself must be able to lead from the front, right? And uh, the pivotal component and understanding needed is that your team will mirror and rely on your courage, drive, and passion to conquer. Next, the next thing that we'll look at is understand what your operational handicaps are. The demands versus your capabilities. Are you losing money to the business demands that you cannot meet? Where is your business going and do you fully understand the evolving market? If you're not in front of it, then you're behind it, right? In front of it, you'll spend time and money figuring it out. Behind it, you're gonna need a heck of a sales team to chase it, pretty much. And finally, to this point, how fast is it going? We're seeing changes to almost every aspect of how consumers spend, from increased interest in primary home purchase outside the city versus five years ago. Everyone wanted uh, to be in the city. Uh, even car buying is changing because most shoppers are no longer interested in ride sharing as they were prior to uh, the crisis of the pandemic. And uh, finally, if your consumer's behaviors change, then so will yours. How do you change your behavior? 
Many go to therapy, find a coach, or trust uh, or a trusted friend to gain a different perspective. Changing, changing times requires a different perspective in your business as well. It is time to innovate, change your thinking, embrace change, coach and practice with your team, energize and inform your community with marketing while staying in alignment with your mission statement. Thank you to our strategic partners, The Village, for participating and sharing your perspective. Do you have a burning question you want to discuss with an expert? Feel free to submit it via the Ask an Expert link featured on the page. Continue to listen to this series now or come back later for more. Each question featured may want you to learn something new.